Brett Cusack, musician, mindset mentor. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to avoid overplaying and be present instead of just gibberishing out either a solo or maybe um, while you're creating parts for your recording. Um, and so today we are gonna be helping you avoid self-doubt and overwhelm and helping you create more confidence than you ever thought created as part of The Confident Musician. If you are curious about what it is that we do here, uh, please reach out at any point and book in a quick 15 minute Q&A uh, so we can have a chat about what your challenges are and where you would like to go and whether we would be the right fit to work with you. Alrighty, so how to avoid over playing and be, pres be present. Um, so what we wanna do at step one is to not play and just listen. Um, a really beautiful idea from the book uh, by Victor Wooten called The Music Lesson is that we don't wanna sacrifice any notes for music. Uh, and I think that's the big difference between someone who's just playing a scale or playing blah, 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 and just talking. Um, without actually making any musical points. So when you actually listen, um, first you actually start to hear ideas. And so the idea at step one is just to listen and don't play anything until you start to feel something that's actually musically relevant. Alrighty, step two is to listen again <laughs> and feel the beat because I find, or definitely for myself, is it's like, I just start playing notes. I'm like, what key is this in? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't know where I go, but I'm not really connected to the music. And if we're not playing in relation to the beat, then we're not going to play anything that actually makes musical sense. And it's just gonna sound like gibberish over the top. So it has to be in time. And um, as I always explain to my beginners, is that beautiful music is beautiful sounds played in time. Um, so if we're going to be overplaying, um, being present, if we're not in listening to the beat and actually playing things in time, then it's probably never going to sound exactly the way that we want. All right, step three with this one is to start to sing ideas in your head and actually start to connect that with the beat and the timing and then start to try and create them on your instrument. So I'm a guitar player, so I will definitely stop and try and sing ideas before actually starting to create any music if I'm doing a solo. Um, or even when I'm coming up with guitar parts, I might try and sing melody lines or lead lines or counter melodies to um, any lead melodies in there. Um, the other idea could be um, I practice singing and playing at the same time. And the beauty of that is you actually have to put, you have to stop to breathe. Um, so when I'm singing and playing, I actually then put these pauses in between so they're actually creating musical phrases. So step three is to sing melodies or ideas in your head. Uh, and that's naturally probably what you would have done, you know, learning to play music or whatever it is you're improvising. Um, and if you're a singer, that probably makes more sense than if you're a melodic instrument player. And step four today is to get a coach uh, and someone who can help you navigate that process and actually give you some realistic feedback, whether you're improvising or part writing for your songs, um, so that you can actually learn and grow and leverage their uh, knowledge and wisdom about what it is that you're doing. Uh, and that's why I created my latest training to help you start to undercover the problems behind the problems that you're facing, uh, which is called Confidence and Happiness Secrets for Musicians. Um, it's a really amazing training. Uh, it's available for a limited time only at $7 uh, or seven bucks. Um, so if you can afford a pack, new packet of strings, um, you can get some really interesting training. And there's got some stuff in there on mindset, how to avoid procrastination, uh, how to master time management for musicians. And there's a really cool 60-minute uh, video in there on how to write songs that stand out. So if that resonates with you, you can click the link below this video. Alrighty, so how to avoid overplaying and be present, just to recap our steps, is to listen and don't sacrifice notes for music. So make sure that you're listening and really feeling and getting a sense of what's happening. And then so you can actually make sure that what you're going to do is actually going to contribute to the sound of the song um, or the part or whatever it might be. Uh, step two is to listen, but then focus on the beat and making sure that you're going to play things but in relation to the time. Because if it's not in time, then it's not gonna make sense to the rest of the music. Uh, and step four is to get a coach or a mentor to help you navigate this process, to leverage their ideas, gain from their experience, and actually have somebody to help you pull you through um, whatever challenges that you are facing. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you know somebody who's a bit of an overplayer um, or somebody underplays, 
or somebody who might need some help with their confidence in their in, in their music, um, then please tag them in this video or share it with them in a DM. Have a great day and I will see you on the next one. My name is Brett, musician, mindset mentor. Until next time, uh, make music and make a difference. Catch you later. Bye-bye.